The 227th ECS meeting was held at the Hilton in Chicago in May 2015. One of the meeting highlights was the presentation of the first ever Alan J. Bard Award to Henry White, Dean of the College of Science at the University of Utah and a world leader in the field of electrochemistry with his pioneering research in energy storage. Dr. Bard himself was on hand. Dr. Bard introduced Professor White, one of his former students, before White gave his presentation, The Electrochemical Nucleation and Physical Behavior of Hydrogen Nanobubbles. The other major award presented at this meeting was the Gordon E. Moore Medal for Outstanding Achievement in Solid State Science and Technology. It went to Yu Kuo. Students from all over the world attend ECS meetings, some thanks to our travel grants program. They got to unwind and network at what has become an ECS tradition, the Student Mixer, where we asked some of them, why even bother to join ECS? You get to present your work to a larger audience. So you get to see all the students, where they're from, what they're working on. Builds foundations for future collaboration. Uh, yes, I've met these guys just here, and um, yesterday I was talking to other people. And... This is my first conference ever, so I've just been soaking it all in. And just continue to do really great work and hopefully make some really beneficial changes for society. The networking continued around the poster sessions. Because the tip is just coming in and out. You can pull signal out of noise because of the liquids, you know, that makes some noise. And let's not forget the exhibitors who showcase the equipment so critical to the research. It was good to talk to some of the vendors and uh, learn about their technologies. Uh, I think I learned a lot myself. Well, just now I was aware of a new potential start from a company which I wasn't aware of before. That the exhibitors being here are very beneficial for networking opportunities. Communicating via email is never as fast as just meeting the people directly here. It's like having free training or free troubleshooting right in front of your face. It's pretty nice because we have uh, free beers. <laughs> the Edison Theater is a place on the exhibit floor where you can demonstrate what you're working on in a less formal setting. With this, what we're going to take and do is we're going to uh, let this continue to grow until they're microwires. So roughly the diameter of a spider web. This meeting saw the third running of the Free the Science 5K. Over 60 runners took part Woo! with proceeds going to the ECS Publications Endowment. Back inside, John Turner gave the ECS lecture, Hydrogen from Photoelectrochemical Water Splitting, What's It Gonna Take? Dr. Turner is a research fellow at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. With almost 2,400 attendees, 45 symposia, and over 2,300 presentations, not to mention the short courses and professional development series, this was the largest spring ECS meeting since 2003 in Paris. We hope to see you at the next one.